Today we're going to be going over training ground setups for Iron Man, Black Widow, and Magic. We're going to be going over the abilities, the order of which I've picked them, as well as options if you would like to do it manually, or if you're stronger than this, than this range. All of these builds are going to be set for alts in the 500 to 800k range. If you're above that, I'm going to give you options as well. Uh, before I jump into the video, I want to tell you guys about a giveaway that I'm doing. It's going to be next Sunday is the giveaway. Uh, if you comment the in the comment section down below the code word, which is towards the end of the video, you'll get one entry into the giveaway. You have to do the code word, space, and then what you liked or disliked about the video. Also, if you do the HelloFresh uh, sponsorship link down below, uh, even if you just do one meal and then stop after that, you'll get 10 entries into the giveaway. If you're on my Discord, you can look in the Foodies channel and see what kind of food I've made with HelloFresh. Let's get into it. Starting off with Black Widow, uh, we are using uh, Trained Assassin Quick Step Strike. We're primarily using this because it does good damage. Uh, it's got a couple good things as well as one flaw. Um, it hits multiple targets. If you're in training grounds and people are all attacking the same target or different targets, you can get a tag in on all of them and get some experience that way. That can also lead into the bad part which is, uh, if you're doing it on auto, she can go. So starting with Black Widow, we're, we're starting with a Trained Assassin Quick Step Strike. There's a couple good things here and one bad thing you to watch out for with this ability. One, uh, you dash around, hit mul you can hit multiple targets. So if people are hitting different targets, you can get a tag in on each one, letting you get experience for every one. This leads into the bad part as well. If you leave it on auto and go to sleep or whatever, uh, she can end up way on the other side of the map. Uh, you have to be a little bit careful, uh, but this can work. Uh, if you find that you have that issue where she goes off and does her own thing, uh, I'll give you another option a little bit later on. Trap Expert, Trap Deluge, this is your uh, bread and butter, probably your best AoE farming skill. Uh, this is really great coupled with uh, Auto Ultimate uh, in the Settings feature, which I'll also show you. Because uh, uh, she does her ultimate, goes invisible, gets auto crit, does this, clears the wave. Then we have a Widow Sting Double Shot. Uh, this does good damage. If the first wave kills the target... She will then turn and shoot the second wave at another target. If you find you yourself are not killing people quick enough and you want a more single target approach, we have uh, Widow Sting Concentrated Fire. I do not personally recommend it for training grounds, but you can use this if you're just trying to kill the elites only. Then we're using an Explosive Expert High Explosive Grenade. Uh, does fine damage, nothing crazy, but it also does the burn effect, meaning your other abilities will start doing more damage. Uh, I put this in the position I do because uh, the first two abilities, um, Trap Expert and uh, Double Shot, can clear waves on their own. You don't need to amplify the damage of those abilities. Then once we go into... Um, the amplification from high explosive grenade we follow that up because as you can see that's an aoe it knocks them down but it keeps them in that same aoe togetherness then we do a uh, firearm expert frag bullets which on auto should go after the same target as the high explosives has the same kind of aoe range and then they're already burning so they take extra damage from this aoe now the uh, other option, if you don't like uh, Trained Assassin Quick Step Strike, is I have messed around with uh, Master Spy Acrobatic Strikes. Uh, it, it won't lead you around to other places. Uh, it goes into a uh, confined area, as you see, 
and it is the same confined area as high explosive grenade and frag bullets. Next, let's get into companions. So for Widow Training Grounds, uh, I believe Athena is hands down the best. Uh, some characters, if you go towards that Quick Step Strike variant, you can get in situations where you drop Athena, and then you are Quick Step Strike somewhere else when she goes to give you the attack buff. This doesn't always matter, because generally, uh, when you're on Auto Companion, Athena uh, normally gets summoned on an enemy and kills them herself while you're over here killing enemies, which gives you a two-for-one, obviously, right? Uh, next, we have Kasim, which we're not really using uh, as a summon, but we're, we have him on our bar. As you can see, I have him at level one over there uh, for the bonus effect. Uh, then we have several that have the collection EXP effect, which is Kasim, but also the two newest specials, Mordo and Ghost Rider, not to mention the uh, old that we already had, Urs. Uh, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, that's just how I pronounce them. As far as summons, your other options would be uh, more AoE style, so Cersei, Vision, or Gilgamesh. Next, let's get into costumes. These are the Omega cards I'm using for Training Grounds. They all have primary stat villain damage. This casts me out at over 75% villain damage. I understand not everybody has the Iron Man special card. If you do not have the Iron Man special card, then you have two options here. If we take a look, uh, we can finish off some two sets. So we have set 14 closed out with the two set of 14. Then we have four, five, and 10. If we take a look at the bonus, we have attack, attack, and stamina recovery. So that's your thing here. Uh, if you think you're having stamina issues while do, uh, AFKing training grounds, we can finish off the stamina recovery. So if we lo look at set four, uh, the first two do nothing for us, supervillain and supervillain decrease. Uh, the elites in there are not supervillains, they're classified as villains. The only other option is Secret Avengers 2014 Villain Damage Decrease, which makes you use less potions, which saves you gold. If that's what you would like to go towards, that is an entirely permissible option. The other options would be uh, Set 5. Uh, to get the attack bonus, you can do uh, Captain America Crossbones for crit damage, or Set 10 for the attack with uh, Avengers 1963 for crit damage. Now let's get into her costumes. Not talking about regionals here because they're either supposed to be your alt characters, uh, outfits that you can buy out in the wild. We're going to be looking at both Red Widow, which does Fire Your Arms Expert, which is Frag Bullets, which is good, or Yelena Belova, which does uh, Widow Sting, which is Double Shot, which is also a good option. Now let's get into our next character. So on to Iron Man. Uh, remember these are for your ults, roughly 500k to 800k. If you guys are bigger, there will be other options. So we have uh, extra firepower guided missiles. This is your biggest uh, ability. Uh, if they hit the same target, it does more damage as it stacks. Uh, nanite plasma spin blades. Uh, it makes you untargetable during the three slashes. The uh, AI opponents are not trying to dodge in the training grounds. So you're always going to get your three slashes off, and during that time you do massive damage as well as you are not targetable during that time le leading your potions to trigger so you last longer. Then we go into, where is, there we go, Arc Energy Repulsor Charge. This is uh, not your highest damage skill, but it's your fastest damage skill. So it just goes bam, you're done. Uh, does decent damage, probably going to kill a wolf or something. Then we have a Tactical Satellite, Party Time Protocol. Uh, this does the dash, which does good get damage, and then also summons two bots to help you out. Those two bots can go off and do their own thing. They're mostly going to target what you're targeting, but if you're walking to a new target and there's other targets near you, the bots can go over there and tag them, 
letting you get extra kills. Last but not least, we're using uh, Artificial Intelligence Operation Speed Amplification. Uh, this is more beneficial to you when in PvP and controlling your character, but this also works in this PV environment as it just allows your character to keep doing their abilities over and over and over, and you're not wasting time doing auto attacks. Now let's go over into... So the same thing with Black Widow, we're doing the same exact uh, Omega card build, except this time, if you do not have Iron Man, I 100% need you to use the other set 4 right here, Secret Avengers 2014 Villain Damage Decrease, not because you need the decrease, but because you need the stamina recovery from it, uh, from the 2 set bonus, uh, which will then, uh, you will be at like 60-something uh, percent villain damage, and you will cut through them like butter. Now let's go over and check out companions. We're going to be using Thena. She's hands down going to be our best option. We throw her down, and she does the AoE and gives us attack boost. Uh, we're usually going to be in the area as our attacks do not lead us away in the different directions. Even if we are not... Uh, we're attacking someone over here, our bots are attacking someone over here, and Thena is attacking someone over here. Meaning, while we're in training grounds, we're accumulating all of this experience. We want Kasim on our uh, board because of his bonus effect of EXP gain. Then we also have Baron Mordo for collection, uh, Ghost Rider for collection, and Urs for collection. On our board, we can also take use of uh, Kaya for stamina recovery. Where's that? Uh, I'm not going to pronounce him for crit rate if you would like it. As well as uh, you have other options like Ultron for crit damage. Now let's get into her costumes. We're not using regionals because these are your ults that are in the 500-800k range. Fear itself is going to be our best option for extra firepower, which is your uh, most usable skill that does the highest damage in total. The second best option would be Marvel Now for Nanite Plasma. This is Spin Blades. It's your uh, highest damage single target ability, uh, but it gets spread across the board. This uh, does almost, if not the same amount of damage as uh, Fear itself, extra firepower but uh, it's less controllable. Uh, extra firepower does more damage across the board, whereas if they all hit the same target, uh, Nanite Plasma does comparable damage. Now let's get into the next character. Now for magic, remember these are for your ults between the 500-800k range. We're starting with uh, Stepping Sword, Stepping Strike. This does good damage uh, almost immediately, bam bam. Uh, if you're a little bit weaker and trying to make use of this, uh, Stepping Sword, Stepping Finisher has a longer animation, slightly more damage, and as you can see, there's a cooldown difference, but you were untargetable during the time you're doing the whole animation, as you can see, which is 2, 2.5 times longer than Stepping Strike. Uh, this allows you to get your potions rolling, as well as stops them from hitting you while you're waiting for other cooldowns. Next, we go into... Uh, summon Limbo Hydra, Incinerating Hydra. This does a nice big range of burn damage. Puts down the burn and really helps you out uh, to stack the damage here. Then we go into Hunter in the Dark, Dark Conjuration. Uh, this, you know, hits multiple targets, turns them into, uh, what do they call them? Uh, mutates them, lesser life forms, and it does uh, quick damage. And, you know, does the whole thing. Number four, we have uh, Soul Slash Quick Stab. <clears throat> this is the quick damage right in front of you. Uh, if you do not like this ability, we also have the option of uh, Summon Limbo Hatchling, which summons the Baby Dragon, uh, also does burn damage, and the Baby Dragon stays around for a little bit and helps you out on damage. Uh, the reason why I'm using the stab instead of the hatchling is I always want to have an ability being used. I don't want to be sitting around for four or five seconds waiting for cooldowns. Maybe even longer depending on how your cooldown setup is. If you're uh, manually playing it, hatchling all the way 
because you can mo maneuver around, set up for the hatchling, but if you're autoing, I prefer the quick stab. Last but not least, we have uh, Master of the Abyss, Abyssal Advent. This does really quick damage, similar to uh, Stepping Sword, Stepping Strike, but also does a damage over time debuff on the area of effect you hit. Now let's get into the next section. For Omega cards, uh, this is what I use as well. Uh, if you do not have the uh, set nine Iron Man, uh, you're not you're actually not super worried about the stamina recovery from set four. Uh, otherwise, uh, you can go for the uh, crossbones from set five to get the attack bonus from the two set, or the uh, Avengers 1963 from set 10 to also get the attack two set bonus. And now we'll get over into our companions. We're also using Thena. Thena is great for all of them. If you uh, want other options, Mordo is actually a really good option. Uh, same similar issues here. Um, you have to be a little bit careful uh, with your abilities. Uh, if you turn down your graphics on your game when you're AFK, as you should, uh, your character sees less targets, so they are uh, bound to go less far. So Mordo, with the specific magic and Doctor Strange effect, uh, will amplify her better than Thena. Uh, gives her the attack, which is uh, you know roughly the same, what, 15%? Uh, yeah, 15%, same amount, and then a bunch of other stuff. Uh, the only issue here why uh, you might use Thena over Mordo is Mordo, if we look at the ability, he has to shoot that beam at your character to get the bonuses. If he doesn't hit you because you walked too far away, then he does actual nothing. Uh, Thena, on the other hand, when you drop her, uh, she's going to try to give you the attack buff, uh, which you have to be in range for as well, but if you're not in range, then she will still deal damage around her, making her uh, more powerful in that way. Um, Mordo we're going to want anyways, as many stars as possible for the collection EXP, as well as Ghost Rider. Uh, we like to have uh, Kasim on our bar for that. Uh, then we have... Uh, we have Urs as well for the uh, collection bonus. And on your bar, you can have things like Ultron for crit damage. You can have things like, uh, obviously, Thena for defense pierce. And Gilgamesh is probably your best for supervillain damage, which there aren't supervillains over there. There isn't a real villain one. But uh, Gilgamesh and Vision can also be good AoE summons. Now let's get into... So for costumes, you actually have a couple options here. We have Mystic Arcana, which increases the Dragon Breath, which is one of our best AoE type skills. Uh, at least what we're doing right here, it has the biggest range. Next we have uh, Fall of the Mutants, which does Hunter in the Dark, which is that teleport skill that also does a damage over time. Uh, this increases that, which is your highest damage gain from a uh, non-regional. Last but not least, we have Infernus X, which is Summon Legionnaire. This is only if you want to do the Summon Baby Dragon route, as this will increase the damage of the summon, be it the, da uh, the initial uh, strike damage, or the damage that the Baby Dragon does because it stays around for a couple seconds longer. Now let's get into... Alright guys, that was a quick uh, Training Grounds breakdown of those three characters. Let me know in the comment section down below if you think this is helpful to you and which characters you want to see me do tomorrow. Today, the uh, special keyword is going to be magic. M-A-G-I-K. So in the comments down below, put magic, put a space, dash, however you want to do it, and then tell me what you liked or disliked about the video to be added into the giveaway. Have a good one.